Hello everyone, I'm Stephen Hammond. Today we're going to be talking about bioluminescence technology and focusing on the future of bioluminescence technology. Mainly uh, where it came from, uh, where it's going, where it is now, and uh, how else it's applied to our lives even before we started to apply it in modern technology and where it could possibly go. So of course our objectives are to talk about the past of bioluminescence, where it appears in nature such as in animals, uh, organisms, single cell organisms, and how it's used. Uh, talk about where it comes in modern technology, f how we're using it, modern technology to help us understand more about our own lives and create new ways of light, and talk about the future, which is, of course is always interesting. Now, everyone's seen a firefly in your backyard, and everyone knows that fireflies glow. No one knows, I bet you never wondered why. Well, fireflies glow due to bioluminescent properties that come from the bacteria in their uh, tail, you would say that help them glow and communicate with one another through the dark nights of summer. Same thing with jellyfish. When you're going through an aquarium, you see them at night, not at night, you see them in the dark tanks, and you wonder, hey, this is pretty sweet. They look almost ghosty and glowy, and you wonder why they glow as a younger kid. But uh, again, that is to bioluminescent bioluminescence in uh, nature. In uh, algae and in other smaller organisms, this bioluminescent technology is more present due to uh, power usage and to certain evolutionary traits that have been adapted for some unknown reasons but have still present to this day and uh, still look pretty sweet and pretty freaking cool. Now the way bioluminescence works is uh, it co the bioluminescence comes from energy release from a chemical reaction. This is very different from other light sources such as the sun or a light bulb where the energy comes from heat. Bioluminescence comes from a chemical compound in bacteria that results in a glow that can change with minimal amounts of light or altering. Again, in nature, these lights can be used for a number of things such as communication, light sources, or to confuse prey with dazzling amounts of colors and just overall welding effect. It can be used like by the anglerfish to lure people in or by other creatures of the deep to lure more creatures in. But also in the deep, it's a two-way, it's a double-edged sword, wherein if you have bioluminescent light, you're more likely to attract a mate and reproduce, but you're also more likely to uh, give yourself away to predators who don't have this feature and rely so much on light. And in the uh, deep abyss of the ocean, that's not the greatest thing to have. Again, going back to using it as bait, some creatures use it for uh, to lure creatures in, and others use it to for large amounts of light to burst out and to confuse their prey, thus leading to a stunned state where they can easily be captured and uh, consumed with little to no energy expended. And uh, animations love this. Again, going back to algae, algae grow at a considerable rate and thus they use a compound that grows from that. What happens is, again, the compound comes from light, not just a heat source, but instead from the chemical reaction and uh, this chemical reaction could be very beneficial to us modern day instead of a heat. Right now, scientists are working on a way to create more natural lighting with plants and uh, other creatures using bioluminescent bacteria and adapting them to environments where they would usually not be found, such as plants for reading and other great things that uh, can be used. A little bit ahead of myself right here because I'm a... Uh, whoopsie. There we go. Again, going back to this, people are starting to create lights that can be used to power, that can be used to light up street lights with for less energy and much less of the cost of actual light bulbs. Of course, these lights would be hopefully just as strong and uh, cheaper to produce, but we don't know yet. Right now in uh, New Zealand, there's a uh, set of lines on a highway strip that is completely bioluminescent that has been applied. Not New Zealand, yeah, New Zealand. And uh, these lines act as a, as the yellow lines act here, and they glow to help uh, drivers identify where it is, even on stormy nights or foggy nights. In another lab, scientists have introduced the bioluminescent chemical to the brains of rats to help identify where er problem areas may occur in the brain, such as disease and uh, other defects. They use this by ejecting the cells with a certain chemical that reacts to uh, malformations in the other cells. Also, another thing they're using is to test uh, batteries and other s certain types of lights. Bioluminescent technology is being applied to microchips to better show off where an area a bust has continued has happened. Say something fries, you know where it is. Bioluminescent technology is now used to identify where that area is because it doesn't need energy to be powered up. 
and uh, another use of modern day bioluminescent technology is of course art. Art is a, a form of all medias and with all new discoveries comes art and uh, personally it's pretty in my opinion it's pretty cool but I don't know we'll see where that goes and what put more people make with it. Now going on to the future people a new thing has been discovered well it's not the future yet photosynthesis during the day this is again a toy that's being shipped around I don't know if it's marketed yet but I should do more research into that for the final presentation but it uh, glows at night kind of like a charging orb or like stickers we ha used to have when they were all as a kid uh, modern modern uh, futuristic I mean solutions uh, would be to start incorporating trees with these lights which would result in having no street lamps at all in an area and of course that would mean having beautiful cities that are just filled with trees and light and that would be awesome uh, again going back to the trees a big part of that would be we would have to the cost of energy would be cut down significantly because we'd no longer have to power large amounts of uh, signs lights and any of that and we could even make signs out of this bioluminescent technology we would just have to keep working towards that as a human race and uh, next would be the coolest one I think is uh, implants in your hand that uh, I mean yeah these implants aren't like necessary fully but uh, the most important part is they light up when a uh, cholesterol level is higher than it's supposed to be thus alerting the person to what it is instead of having to prick their finger but of course you have to cut your finger open uh, and what's next is scientists are currently working on a solution to where they're w like with the rats earlier they're injecting brains with some of these compounds to find areas of problem now of course this would be awesome because that would mean we'd have to we do less and less evasive surgery into the brain to find the area that's the most problematic with the lights and uh, there is again that's just an example of current uh, day testing of what the future could possibly hold and uh, I believe that is all and uh, a little rushed but I still think that was alright so yeah biolumstic technology is a pretty fantastic thing and I hope we continue more with it in the future as a human race thank you